The ICF Canoe Sprint World Championships are brought to you by the Province of Ontario, the Government of Canada, and Tourism Niagara. And up next is race 114, the A final of the junior men's K2 1000 meters. Well, in lane number one, the Russian entry, Oleg Yusuf and Pavel Golubanko. In lane number two from Poland, Lipinski and Ewell. Lane number three from Slovenia, Alan Apollonio and Matisse Klobikar. Lane four from Denmark, Kasper Pretzman and Morten Greifsen and the Spaniards. And lane five, the fastest qualifiers, Vasquez and Marty. And Hungary in lane six, Somber Noe and Peter Vaz. Germany's Tobias Waltz and Maximilian Zenker in lane seven. And Argentina, keep your eye on Augustin Vernice and Manuel Lascano. And Slovakia rounds things out in lane nine, Denis Misak and Tibor Linka. We see here the Hungarians and the Spanish crew, two of the favorites in this race. The Spanish crew that we can see, they'll have the white and red tops and the, and the white and green boat. Uh, they won their heat, very fast time, very fast crew. Next to them on the right in the middle is the white boat and the men are wearing the green shirt, that is Hungary. Also favorites going into this. Oftentimes countries have a marquee boat. For Spain, this is their race. The Spaniards were extremely fast in their heat Keep an eye on Pedro Vasquez and Alberto Marti in lane five. And off the line, it is very clean start. All the boats are off fast. Keep your eyes on Spain in the middle and Hungary next to them. They are the favorites right now, but let's not forget Germany in lane seven. Always strong kayakers. Absolutely, but look at the top of your screen, Tom. Oleg Gusev and Pavel Galyubenko from the, so from the Russian Federation have really gotten off to a fast start. You'll see these boys really flying hard, using their legs to get the leverage they need to pull the stroke through the water. Look at the whole field here. This race will stay tight for a while. Right around the 250 mark or the, the one quarter of a thousand meter mark, it'll start to spread out as the different crews find their rhythm. They'll settle into the rhythm after the start, find something that they think they can hold the whole way through. We see here that the Russian crew has brought it down to a comfortable pace, uh, comfortable travel speed. They're gonna hang on to this as long as they can and then come the finish, it's all guts, and they'll just fight, 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 and try to take the win. Well, like they say, no guts, no glory, and you'll take a look at the Hungarians in lane number six at the bottom portion of your screen. They're really starting to turn it on and throw down the hammer. You'll see the strokes are nice and long coming through the midway point. The Hungarians in the middle have awesome rhythm right now, extremely connected. You can almost see that they have a pause between each stroke, and they are just pulling away from the field with about uh, 100 meters to the halfway point. The Hungarians are leading this race by a mile. We are at the 500 meter mark and it is Hungary in lane six, a head and shoulders above the rest of the field followed closely by lane four, Spain, and then Germany in lane seven and in lane three, Slovakia, Slovenia, pardon me. Such good camera work to really highlight what the Hungarians are doing. They're hitting the water up high and it's almost like a controlled bounce as they pound that paddle into the water and use their legs for leverage. They're jet knifing that boat through the water. It's like a hot knife through butter. You can see them, they're slicing right through, paddling hard as they bring it home. Hungarians look very good right now. There's a nice tailwind. They're taking advantage of that. They're, they're going for what is often called colloquially a fly and die race where you just start and go for it and hang on. And if you can do it, you win wire to wire. It is the best way to win, but it hurts. It requires guts. And these junior men are going for it. Very, very impressed by the Germans. Through the three quarter mark, the Hungarians are winning. The Germans are looking good, but at the 200 meter, it is Hungary by a full boat over Slovenia up in lane three. And then after that, it is very tight for third. And look at Alan Apollonio and Matisse Klobkar up in lane number three for Slovenia. They're really starting to pour it on, but here come the Hungarians. Look at this shot of the Hungarians leading the field. Beautiful work with the fly cam here. Look at the Hungarian boat just accelerate in. They're in the last 70 meters, and it looks like Hungary will take this, the junior men's 
A final in a K2000 meter. And yes, it will be Hungary, a full boat over the rest of the field. But Denmark fighting for third now with Germany. The Germans are coming up for third. It will be Slovenia for second. Can Denmark hold on? And yes, they can. Denmark, third place at the Junior World Championships in the K2 Junior Men 1,000 meters. What a great race by the Hungarians. And look at the physique on those young men. Very fit, very fast. They know how to paddle this boat. Peter Vass and Somber Noy, congratulations. Watch the yellow boat at the top of your screen. The Russians got off to a great start. Of course, the Hungarians in the middle as well, but the Russians were really challenging off the line. An excellent start up in the top of your screen, but right in the middle, you see the Hungarians so strong. Look at this as they paddle here. Look at the connection between the paddles and the legs. The abs work just to connect that and drive the boat forward. Here with the fly cam, we can just see how dominant the Hungarian crew was. They just went for this race wire to wire, a very, very gutsy race. They knew they could do it, and they did with style a boat over the rest of the field. And here is Paul on the docks. I've got Zomber Noy and Peter Vass, world champions, gold medalists. How does it feel? It is very good. This was our dream from the start. After the European Championship, we had a very good start and we did what we wanted to do. To, yes. Compared to the heats and semis coming into this, how, how did you change your race plan? Uh, we had the maximum finish. Finishing, yes. Congratulations, fellas. Back to the tower. And here are the results for the A final of the Junior Men's K2 1000 meters. Hungary, a dominant race, almost three seconds over the rest of the field. Slovenia, a strong second place, about a second or eight tenths of a second over Denmark for third. A great race all around.